you guys having a problem with your Mavic? Gimbal disconnected, gimbal disconnected, gimbal disconnected? Well, I'm here to try to help you solve that problem. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to throw out some suggestions. Hopefully, hopefully that, you know, this will help somebody because I tell you what, I went nuts trying to figure this thing out. The Mavic 2, I mean the Mavic Pro, sorry, out of the box would not hook up to my iPad Mini 3, brand new, out of the box. And I struggled for three days, four days, trying to figure it out. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through a couple of steps, and hopefully, we can figure this thing out together. So let's do this. From your home screen, you want to go to whichever search engine you use. I use Google Chrome. Type in uh, DJI Assistant 2. And you'll come up with the very first one. should be DJI.com. When you get to this page, I'm going to link this down in the description too. <clears throat> Sorry uh, about that camera shake, but you've got it's you can get it for Mac or you can get it for Windows I run Windows 10 and you get either the download the extent uh, exe or the zip either or I believe doesn't matter it's a zipped file once you get it downloaded you're gonna extract all of your files out of it and you should be good to go and then once you leave this once you get it all downloaded and extracted onto your computer You'll have your um, icon on your home screen. You're gonna wanna click yes to allow it to change apps or whatever on your computer. Give it a few minutes to boot up. Now don't let this fool you because this fooled me when I first, when I first uh, got this opened up. It says how to connect to Inspire 2. Don't think that you downloaded the wrong software because you didn't. I don't know why that's there, but the bottom line is, is once you connect to your Mavic Pro, this may even work for the Mavic 2, Mavic 2 Zoom, I don't know, but once you connect this to the laptop and you turn on the battery, it's going to recognize your Mavic right off. And it'll be up in the left hand corner up here. I'm not going to hook it up right now because it's, it'll take too long. You know, the video will take too long, but, and then you'll get, you'll get another sidebar your firmware updates, your calibration, your black box, and there's a couple of other things, but you want to go into the firmware update, and at the bottom, it's going to say restore to factory. What I did was I restored my Mavic to factory. Make sure your battery is up over 50%, fully charged, because it'll it, the update will probably fail if it gets below 50% so make sure your batteries are full and restore it to factory this shouldn't harm anything you know this I should have probably put a disclaimer in, in the beginning of this video um, but take it right back to factory that's what I did and then after I got off got out of this I did the controller next you plug in your controller and you're going to want to update your controller. Plugs into the side of your USB port. Plugs into the USB on your computer. And it'll recognize this right off. You're going to want to do the latest and the greatest firmware on this. Don't take this to factory. I don't even think that it offers it. But um, get the, the, the most recent update for your controller. Let that do its let that do its thing again. Make sure your battery's full on your controller. Let that do its thing. It'll go through a process. It's going to take a little while. It'll probably say this will take 10 minutes, but it's going to take longer than that. And once you've got your quad, your drone to factory, your controller to the most recent update. Come on out of the Go app and of course quit now 
And then what I did was I took the SD card out of the drone altogether. I put it in my laptop. I went into my settings. I opened up where my um, SD card was and I did a format on it. And then we open back up. Scroll down to wherever. Mine is in F drive. Uh, actually, what you're going to want to do is come down here, right click, and then format. Now, what I did was the default is FAT32, FAT32. Make sure it's on that and then start your format and it's going to erase everything on it make sure you're comfortable doing this if you want anything on your if you want anything off of your SD card make sure you back it up with iCloud whatever you use and just click OK and let it format format complete OK you're good to go there close out of all of this we're going to take our SD card right out. Now this SD card would be good to go in my Mavic because there is absolutely nothing on it right now. This was another thing I did, which may have helped. I do not know. But of these three or four things that I tried, <clears throat> one of them worked. And the next thing I did didn't involve my PC at all what I did was as soon as I plugged my iPad mini 3 and this probably would go with first generation 2, 3, 4 iOS, any Android device um, anything, as soon as I plugged this in with the lightning cord to my controller I noticed that I had got a software update but I didn't bother doing it because I was like no I don't feel like messing with that right now, do it if you look through your system, whatever it is you're going to use to fly, look through your system and do a complete firmware update, software update on that device. Get it to where it's supposed to be. And I tell you, once I hooked this up to my controller, I had everything fully charged and I powered everything on. Thank the good Lord, I had video feed and everything came up perfect and I oh my gosh I I loved it I loved it I loved it so you know just a quick run through oh and another thing I did too was after this was at factory after I got everything hooked up I went back in to DJI assistant into the assistant program and I updated my Mavic to the latest and the greatest so I went in first restored to factory set everything else up iPad firmware update on the controller SD card format um, then I went in plugged the Mavic back in again and updated to the latest and the greatest that solved my problem I really really hope and I really really pray that this helps somebody because I tell you what when I took this thing out of the box I and I couldn't get it going for the life of me because I, I had it going on Wi-Fi no problem but you can't use your controller on Wi-Fi you have to use the screen your controls come up on the screen and you have to control it with the screen the signal is horrible. You can only get out so far with the Mavic and it'll it'll drop out, it'll cut out. The best way to fly these is with the lightning cable hooked up from the controller to the iPad, Android phone, whatever it is that you use. So I really hope that this helped somebody because I know it helped me. I troubleshot this for a couple of days and I could not figure it out, but finally I did. Thank God. Uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to, you know, support my channel, help me out. Thanks for 600 subscribers. I finally hit it. Um, you know, shout out to everybody who constantly 
comments, likes, you know, leaves those positive comments. That's awesome. You know, guys, Mavic Pro, hopefully this troubleshooting video will help somebody because I know it, it worked for me. If, it, if you try these steps and it worked for you, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to put a, a, a link to DJI Assistant down below in the description box. And hopefully I, I helped you out, man. Because, like I said, I know that this killed me for a couple of days. I got sick, boat got sick to my stomach and just I couldn't stop thinking about it. I lost sleep, you know. So, anyways, it is what it is. We figured it out. I hope this helped somebody. So, hey, man, thanks for watching. Fly safe, stay safe, crash hard, do whatever it is you do. Don't lose your drone. Use DVR. <laughs> Have a great day.